So we do see a lot of runouts, particularly from the VIP balcony. Fence. I like the classic use Blackbeard to help clear an initial area for your uh, for your kind of point men to get in there and then have him rotate around to actually attack the site, which is perfectly played. But Pengu also perfectly countering it. Good teamwork from the Jaeger, who might have gotten a little peek out there from the uh, Sunrise window, it looked like. Mm -hmm. And Gogo with a quick flick around, saving his own skin. He is a little bit low on health, but now it's back to 3-3. As I say that, there goes Liven. So you can see that G2 doing G2 things, and despite finding themselves at the disadvantage very early into the round, they will not let the round slip away. And now Millennium are the ones who are at the man disadvantage. You can see Ryze has one Firebolt after expending one just now, but look at that, so little time. As the flashes start going in, you see Fabian semi-blind, but he's got Goga to support him. Goga also gets a team kill onto Pengu, but Fabian's pre-fire will be enough to get the final kill, and G2 take the first round against all odds. That was a little bit of a rough round for G2. They had uh, some, some early kills they got from this position, but uh, he doesn't seem to be one, uh, confronting any opponents immediately. Zofia Lifeline will push that uh, shield away from the Clash's cover. But so many kills are happening here in the meantime, as Liven manages to get the finish off on Jonas, he was down from behind, leaving just Fabian and Cantor Ketty in a two versus four. Yeah, G2 right now is all clustered together, of course. Cantor Ketty and Fabian both stuck in that projector, that home theater. It's not a great position to get a clutch from, especially when your opponent surrounds you on all sides. And here, ooh. Ace is trying to bait out the torch there. He possibly could have actually just gotten a free kill, but he peeks into the doorway and gets the kill regardless. Going through his hole, he's going to try and find his second opponent, and he will. Ace is a great play there on Maverick. I like the play from Pengu taking control of Hookah, because like you said, that denies the Diffuse plant. As this will come down to the wire, because they've lost Fabian, they have less control of the site now, and so a lot of pressure is going to be coming onto Kanto. Still not sure what Eunice is up to. He's still kind of walking around, but it looks like he's actually on site potentially doing some denial of the doorway. Good information from that evil eye. We'll call out aces and Pengu will get the kill because of it. Rise though, again, really showing his worth in this match as he gets another kill and then the final kill. So well done to Millennium and Rise in particular. They take another round, putting themselves up two to one. Definitely playing Maverick might be a big factor here. If they're able to push him into a position where Aces can get the shot on him. Not that, unfortunately, Brief fires the wrong direction. Oh no, the mark from his teammate causes a false pre-fire and as a result, rises death. Again, thanks to Jonas' excellent play on this bandit as you were talking about earlier. Liven pushing into the bar now, using his lifeline to disrupt Jonas. He will just slowly peek around and get the kill, finally getting control of Sunrise Bar in Millennium's favor. Looks like it's going to be delivery push from Millennium. They do have one player not with them here, and that's going to be a push from the Sunrise Bar. Liven gets another kill for himself, but Cantor Ketty will shut him down. And Fabian in a position to deny the defuse plant once it's called out. He gets the first kill onto Hicks and gets the second as well. A nice flick onto Aces. But speaking of time, there's so little left for Millennium, and they're going to have to start pushing right now. Here come the Capital Bolts, the Fire and Smoke alike. Cantor Ketty has line of sight, though. So does Fabian as he sprays through the smoke. He's landing his shots thanks to the marks from his teammates on the Evil Eye. Liven will get two more. That's three for him in the round. But from behind, through the Maverick hole, Jonas gets a kill. And he's in a clutch position. Renshiro is down on the floor, and the last attacker is so lit. But oh no, he's been downed. But it's Sophia. He can pick himself up, and Jonas reads the room, gets the kill, and G2 take it. What a clutch play at the moment there. <laughs> Using Maverick's own hole against him. Kanto just outside the Lamborghini doorway trying to fight onto the clash, and it's uh, basically an effort in futility. He doesn't have a teammate to establish crossfire, but Pengu is trying to fill that role now. The third player from G2 to get onto the main stairs. Clash, though, caught in a crossfire as Pengu takes out Aces, his support staff. Clash is basically exposed to the death at this point, and Cantor Ketty will be the one to get the kill. A flick from Fabian will make that defender at the end of the hallway shy away, but Ryze will eventually get Cantor Ketty, who had been lit up prior in the round. Fabian finally pushing his way into the site. This has been a jumbled round so far. As Pengu takes out Hicks, the final defenders will be Ryze and, well, I was going to say Liven, but no, the one versus one comes into play. Luckily for Pengu, he will have time to get this defuse plant. Ryze is too far from the site, but the information is abundant here, clearly for the lesion, and the pre-fire narrowly misses its mark through the wall. 
Pengu now in a perfect clutch position. Post plant, and he knows he, where his opponent is coming through from, thanks to the virtue of sound. The pre-aim is perfect here for Pengu. He need only wait. But will the pre-fire from live and land? No, it won't. Rather, Rise goes down. Pardon me. So overall, Fabian's play there, just during the prep phase alone, may have really shifted this in G2's favor. Ooh, unfortunately, Which as I say that. When Shiro, an excellent shot onto Giannis as he drops, attempting to cut off visual for his teammate so a plant can happen. And the plant is happening. It's cost two players from G2, but the plant is going down. The cover from Pengu is perfect onto Rinshiro, and uh, Fabian also takes out aces in a ready position. So now, post-plant scenario, G2 have a huge advantage, and all they need to do is wait. Good shot there from Fabian, seeing the angle onto Rise, who is playing over by the VIP. And uh, it's looking worse and worse for Millennium. They're going to have to find all these spread out G2 players, and they've wasted so much time already. Pengu going to be the first line of defense on the Diffuser defense itself. On the diffuser. You can see the backup will be Goga, who could at any time drop from the hatch. It seems like a stick here, but Goga's going to be able to drop from the hatch and get the double kill. G2 will take that round and put themselves on match point 5-2. to two. Well, being honest here, it looks like we're probably going to see G. Now, that will obviously be the primary focus for the Millennium defense. Already some bolts coming out from Giannis, and Free Fire as well through the Broken Mirror window. He will take out Renshiro. That was perfect angle play. Really props to him. And that's 1C4 no longer available to Millennium. Wow, Cancer Ketty, what kind of timing is that? Liven goes down, and so does the Diffuse plant. Ace is able to get one kill for Millennium, but will it be enough is the question ringing in everybody's ears. As he's managed to position himself perfectly over by the south office, but Cantor Ketty, what a one-tap onto Aces. Goga takes out Hicks, and it's all up to Rise once more. As he drops from the hatch, he is given away by the phone call. NG2 take the round and the match, 6-2. to two. Well, they definitely have not slowed down in their dominance of Europe. This is definitely uh, looking pretty good. The, oh, yeah. The 6-2 meme coming out. 6-2 G2, by the way. Yeah. Oh, well. Man. That was uh, two swift executes in a row in terms of getting that plant down. I have to say, they they're, when they see a hole in Millennium, they are absolutely just dogpiling on it. Yep. So the, uh, I guess the word of the day is dominance uh -huh. for G2.